Tonight's Positively PWCS highlights an award-winning group of students. Superintendent Dr. Waltz will introduce our presentation. Thank you, Chairman Latif and members of the board. I'm excited to welcome Amanda McCullough, the principal of Pennington Traditional School, who is here tonight to share information on the school's award-winning We the People program. Good evening, Chairman Latif, school board members, and Dr. Waltz. My name is Amanda McCullough, and I am the proud principal of Philip Michael Pennington Traditional School. Tonight, I am here to showcase and share with you how incredibly hard our students work and compete in We the People. I have with me my assistant principal, David Anderson, and some of our fierce competitors from sixth through eighth grades. I also have Aaron Merrill, our team's highly driven coach, and a mentor with the Virginia Civics Organization who sponsors the We the People competition. I know that I could tell you a lot about this competition and about these students. I've followed them to regionals. I'm excited to follow them to states this Saturday, but they say it best that they're the ones who are in there and doing all the work, so I'm going to hand it over to our students. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Sean Villacorte. Uh, I'm in eighth grade. My name is Maria Huck, and I'm in seventh grade. My name is Juris Field, and I'm in seventh grade. My name is Michael Krupe, and I'm in sixth grade. We the People is a national competition through the Center for the Constitution. In Virginia, there are about a dozen middle schools who currently participate, and about 24 high schools. We are currently the only team in Prince William County for either middle or high school. This year was our first time hosting regionals, where we took first place. We are now one of six middle schools invited to compete at state-level competition this Saturday at the University of Virginia. In our competition, students participate in a simulated congressional hearing where they are called in as experts on a topic related to the Constitution. The teams must research their topic as well as the Constitution, current events, and U.S. history. This year's topics range from ancient Rome and its impact on how American government was structured to debate about the in inevitability inevitability and impact of political parties on civic participation to the freedoms of speech and due process. Each school sponsors six teams or units and each team has a different topic to research. The units are based on the free curriculum from the Center for the Constitution and our first source to answer the questions are our textbooks. From there, we must research online to learn about the topic and find examples that support our topic and our group's opinions about them. Finally, we have to reference the Constitution, amendments, and other founding documents. We turn our research into a four minute prepared speech, much like the prepared comments that witnesses give at congressional hearings. The question part is harder. After your team gives their speech, the judges have six minutes to ask you anything they want to ask about your assigned topic or anything you brought up in your speech. You don't know what the judges will ask you, so you have to be prepared for anything. You're not allowed to use notes to help you, and you have to work with your team to make sure everyone participates without being able to talk to each other. You also have to make sure that you give the judges both sides of an issue. So sometimes you have to disagree with what your teammates say, even if you don't believe it. We the People teaches us a lot of advanced skills, including research, critical thinking, teamworking, and public speaking. In many ways, it is harder than the test that we take in class, but it's also more rewarding because even if your team does not win a medal, you get the satisfaction of showing your knowledge on a topic outside of class and your ability to think on your feet. I think that I have learned more about what is really happening in our country, how it works, and how some things may need to be fixed so that citizens get more of a chance to say what they think. I also think that people should have more enforcements at protests to make sure that no one gets hurt because lately too many people have been getting injured or killed. I personally feel, since both my older brothers were on the We the People team, that I would carry on the legacy. Plus, Miss Merrill and my mother made me, so. <laughs> I kind of feel like the We the People lets me understand both sides of an issue and it has helped me prove my point in a professional way. I think in the future it will help me communicate my ideas with coworkers and other colleagues that I'll interact with. 
My older sister really enjoyed doing We the People, and I wanted to try something new because I've never done a club like this before. Something I like about doing We the People is how many skills we've picked up while writing our speech, presenting it, and answering the questions. I've learned a lot more history and how to find websites to help with my research. I really love how we, share, we can share our opinions and you get to learn so much about the country, the past, and the present. It has also helped me to expand my vocabulary. I had no idea what civic participation was, participation was until I came to this club. And I'm even doing it right now. And I am going to sneak in real quick, and just for Dr. Waltz's benefit, one of the greatest accomplishments so far this year is we beat our rivals of many, many years who happen to belong to a neighboring school division. So it was great to take first in regionals. <laughs> And going in with that, this was also our first time hosting regionals, which was thrilling because we have had to been dragging the kids to Loudoun for years. And so I begged and begged, and uh, Dr. Bishop was nice enough to let us use Patriot High. All right, so uh, I am Erin Merrill, and I'm the coach of the We the People team. I've been working with Virginia Civics uh, since 2007 when they began their pilot at the middle school level, although high schools have been competing on this for 25 years. So I am now working with uh, Jeff Gervin and the History and Social Studies Department to try and get more participation in the county. We've presented workshops to teachers on content day, and we are hoping that by publicizing what our students are doing more, that uh, we can especially get some high school teams to start, because I know my Pennington students, present and uh, past, would love to compete at the high school level. So I will conclude by saying that over the past six years, our Pennington team has frequently placed the top three at regionals or states, although we are thrilled to have taken home our first gold medal this year, as Ms. McCullough said. Um, as the student said, we're off to states this Saturday at the University of Virginia. We will, of course, tweet about it and let you know how we do. So thank you for this opportunity to have presented our program to you. And we hope that when we send out an invitation next fall, that some of you will come and guest judge for us.